chunk systems. Put on your nerd glasses because today we're gonna talk about some of the technical stuff in the game. Now if there's anything I'm very insecure about my games, it's either the music or the performance. If you play through any of the demos of Rago Plus and actually turn on the display FPS option, you'll notice that this game doesn't actually run very fast and even more so when there's like a dozen enemies on screen. And that's because the collision system is very slow. Like it essentially checks through every tile in the scene and checks whether or not it's in the close vicinity of the entity and then runs collision with them. Now if you're a programmer you knew that accessing something from a dictionary using a key is a lot faster than iterating through an entire list to check if any item fits your condition. Oh yeah, dictionary exists. I decided to divide the tile maps of this game into dictionary based chunk system. And boy oh boy does it work. Now there are other reasons that I haven't implemented the chunk system yet and it's because in some instances uh, the game has to remove or insert a tile into the tile map which could be complicated because without the chunk system I just have to insert the tile into a list and that's it. It's in the game. With the chunk system on the other hand, I have to look through which chunk I have to add that in or sometimes generate a real chunk for that tile to exist. But I got all those sorted out. Now there's a lot more complicated details that I'm not going to explain in this video, but you just have to know that dictionary is a godsend in programming. 